There is definitely more to come. First of all, uh, the walls are closing in on Joe Biden right now. The dominoes have started to fall. We talked about this with David Ignatius, mm -hmm. the opinion piece in The Washington Post. We knew that it was going to start falling apart. And then we have Nancy Pelosi, you know, who's a very smart woman who is able to say very clearly that, you know, Joe Biden is the greatest, Kamala is the greatest. And instead, she refuses to say that Kamala Harris is the best running mate for Joe Biden. Okay. And then you've got Mika Brzezinski actually saying this morning that this has now become a real serious discussion about Joe's age and his, his mental acuity. Okay. But now we've got the first time in American history that a president's son has been indicted. He's been indicted for something that is very much a provable crime. It is a matter of record, the public record. Uh, he has made admissions in the book, three counts to this indictment, uh, adding up to 25 years. However, those 25 years, if he were to be convicted of all three, lying on the form, lying to the person he bought the gun from, and actually possessing the gun while uh, he was under um, the, the influence of, of drugs, uh, the sentence would be, the sentences would be run concurrently. That means he's never going to get 25 years. And as a first offender, it's probably not going to be anything, you know, even near the highest charge or the lowest, which is five years. However, what is stunning about all this is that there is absolutely nothing preventing this indictment from being uh, issued five years ago or four years and 11 months ago. The fact that David Weiss now has special prosecutor status hasn't given him any additional powers that he didn't already have mm -hmm. because this indictment is in Delaware, where Hunter lives, where the crime was committed. And David Weiss has always had the power in that particular place. Now, the whistleblowers are the ones who really opened this thing up to us because Joe Biden has been lying and you, and you actually do get it. It's his son. He loves him. My son has done nothing wrong. We pretty much expect every parent to say that kind of thing. But this is not the end of it by any by, you know, any stretch of the imagination. This is one count that is just a door opener. And what will come now, given the kind of you see what's happening with the press now what we've got are even Democrats like Nancy Pelosi kind of saying, nah, you know, who knows, Mika Brzezinski, nah, there's a real serious discussion. The, 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 the floodwaters are coming in. The next will be on the tax indictment. OK, mm -hmm. you cannot do an indictment of the taxes and Hunter Biden without investigating Joe. Mm -hmm. And as they investigate Joe, more information is going to come out about as they investigate Hunter, more will come out about Joe. Now, Weiss saying that it was not his decision, whistleblowers coming forward. We've got everything now in a situation where this thing is all, all, you know, damn the torpedoes, the Bidens are going down. We talked about this yesterday. It's just a question of when. All right, Dana. Now